In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Education in the Church is a very important task. It balances the Church. It balances the body of Christ. It balances the relationship between the laity and the clergyman. Priesthood is important, but clergymen and priests are not the whole church. The whole church has two pools. The pool of priesthood is to intercess the laity to God and to let people encounter the living God in everything they do and everything they practice in the church and everything they are taught about the church and everything they read in the Bible and everything they receive in the Holy Sacraments. So all the sacraments are ways to encounter the living God. But how come the laity of the church encounter the living God if they don't understand about this God? What kind of knowledge do they have about God? We all believe in the same God, but at the same time, we actually and practically, we don't believe in the same God at the same time. Because simply God is the knowledge we grow in all the time. We grow in in knowing the godly image in us. We grow in in knowing God. We grow in knowing the grace working in our nature by the incarnation and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. All these things and all these meanings cannot be understood away from education, cannot be lived away from the church. So the church and the school are very important bodies within the body of Christ. Both of them are very important to enlive uh, the body of Christ and live it with life, with understanding. Make some meaning for the faith we have all the time. So that's why, simply, I want to say that education is very important for every single every single Christian person. If you don't educate yourself and grow in the knowledge in knowing God mentally, our faith becomes a very naive one. Our faith becomes very shallow. We practice the sacraments and we don't know what does it mean for us. We lose the reason behind everything we do. So this is the task for every single educator, whoever teaches in the church, to let people understand a meaning for everything they do, to let the people understand the meaning behind their lives and being Christians. Being Christian could be called for anyone. Could anyone become Christian? But how come that anyone becomes a Christian and he does not understand the meaning behind his Christianity? This is exactly what the Christian education does in the church. That's why it's a message for everyone. If you want to make a meaning for everything you believe in, if you want to keep the balance between the heart and mind, if you want to keep the balance within the body of Christ, which is laity and the clergyman at the same time. If you want to keep this balance, the only guarantee is education. Education enlightens both priests and the laity to keep in their positions, to understand the distinguishment between this and that, the, the distinguishing the rules is very important because confusing them makes a mess. So, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, enlighten your minds and live your hearts 
live in Christ must understand that the messages that always Christ addresses us to follow. God came and incarnated in his only begotten son and lived among us. But also God speaks to us. This message needs a language. Language of understanding. Language of becoming a live member in the church. This is what the Christian education does. Our forefathers lived for centuries. They kept education and that was the guarantee of passing the tradition and faith for all the common generations. But the question is, what if they didn't? What if they didn't explain the faith? What if they didn't have the philosophical atmosphere of understanding what is Christianity? In the first five centuries, forefathers stood strongly against the heretics all the time, explaining the faith, used the Greek philosophy to explain faith for everyone, and they were the guardians, the guardians of orthodoxy, the guardians of the authentic Christian teaching. So they became role models. If they didn't teach and if they didn't care about, about the Christian faith, if they said that is enough to believe, and we will just let the people believe in Christ, believe in miracles, or believe in whatever, the Greek philosophy in that case had to eat and swallow the Christian mind. We had become in this position like a weak group of people, even if Christian Christianity remains after all of this. What I want to say, my beloved sisters and brothers, if you don't have a growing methodology in knowing God, you will remain as you are. Anyone could be told about the wisdom of God in faith, but not everyone would be able to encounter God without knowledge. Not anyone will be able to keep in silence and to keep in meditation all the time to discover the secrets. If the secrets does not run towards you, you should run towards the secrets to be uncovered for you. This is what education does. Education lets us able to run towards the wisdom. We run to the wisdom to understand seeking knowing, seeking enlightenment, seeking the light. But if we just let Christian education stay as it is and stay away from us, what do you think it will happen? Nothing will happen. Our face will be swallowed by the surrounding cultures. Our people will just seek the wisdom and they don't get it. Our sons and daughters will just show up for life without any methods of encountering the living God. Without any methods also to interact with the world. That is what we need to give them. We need to give them weapons. Weapons of knowledge. Weapons of enlightenment. Weapons of balance. Let us balance our knowledge. Let us balance our church in 
Christian education. Glory be to God forever and ever. Amen.